Now you're gonna log into your PlayStation 5. You're gonna go to your game library. Your game library is all the way at the end. Mine's is, mine's is. You're gonna go to your collections and as you see on your list on the top of your screen, you're gonna see Marvel Spider-Man 2. You're gonna go on there, you're gonna click there and you're gonna press download. Now I know a lot of you guys are probably asking, what's the difference between preload and the release on October 20th. Preload is just gonna let you download the game a weeks or days ahead early. So when the game get released on October 20th, it's already done for you. It's already preload and it's already download all the updates and all the gigabytes. Now there are reports that this is a big update or a big gigabytes, meaning it's 86. So make sure that you have enough room for your PlayStation 5 to download, you know, Spider-Man 2 or any game that is set to release in these coming days so make sure that you have enough room for spider-man 2 or if you're a person like call of duty content creator whoever i know call of duty is a big gigabyte so make sure you have enough space for either of those games that's going to set to release anytime soon now a lot of you guys are probably saying once i download spider-man 2 will i be able to play spider-man on the same day no that is question number one no you will not be able to play spider-man 2 on friday the 13th or any day that you preload this game this game is set to release on october 20th that's the beauty about preloads so that you download days early so when you log into your playstation 5 on the release date doesn't matter what game it is it'd be already downloaded and you just log in there and already ready to go now hopefully that the update is in this preload download too but i think it is i think the update and of course downloading the game is all in one package now you know most games have an update on the day of the release so hopefully there's no more further updates on the day release until after the release date of spider-man 2 because sometimes there always will be glitches and some issues so hopefully that type of stuff will happen after the update so just keep that in mind Hopefully I explained this properly when it comes to preloads and release. No, you will not be able to play Spider-Man 2 when you download it onto your PlayStation 5. Once you finish downloading Spider-Man 2 onto your console, it's going to give you a countdown. And the countdown for, for today is six days. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. We have six more days until Spider-Man 2 get released. That's when you'll be able to play this game. Hopefully that was the best way I explained it. If you guys have any more further questions, you could guys just leave them in the comment section down below and I will try my best to answer them as much as I can. Sometimes the notification comes like an hour later, the notification for YouTube, I don't know why. So I'm gonna try my best to answer all the questions on the same day. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy Spider-Man 2 when it gets released on October 20th and I will see you guys in my next post.